Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Five Mexican Guy. As you know, we've been gone for a little while, but it's time for our comeback. We had to deal with some issues. We were we had a little bit of the time constraints, a lot of work. Yeah, exactly. Lots of work. And uh, but we're back. We're sorry, guys. We think we were taking this hobby too seriously. It was losing the fun side of it. We're gonna do it more casually. We're not setting any deadlines. We're not promising any empty promises. <laughs> We're just gonna do videos. Yeah. And we hope you like them and you see them. Just have fun, recommend nice places for you to eat. So And show you a little bit of Mexico. Exactly. The guys strike back. <laughs> exactly. And as always, Horacio, Chris Alonso. Chris, uh, uh, we even uh, lost our, uh, our, our mojo. We are so rusty, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're at the Campostras. Campostras We're near yeah. the Bosques, which is a really nice neighborhood in um, mm -hmm. Mexico City. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Woohoo! Woo! Okay guys, so our costras have arrived. I ordered a couple. And costra, the literal translation would be scav, but I think uh, a more appropriate <laughs> translation of the word would be a crust. So what they do, they take cheese and they put it on the griddle till it gets brown and crunchy. They put meat on top and they wrap it in a flour tortilla. It's very good and it's, they usually eat it late at night uh, after... After club sessions after, or... After clubbing sessions. Or parties, <laughs> whatever, you know? So I like to put a little bit of pineapple to give it a little bit of acidity and um, cut all the richness of the meat and cheese. Green salsa is the one of my preference. Not that spicy. Not that spicy, and it's. I think it's raw, very flavorful. A splash of salt, and I think that's it for me. The bistec one, which is just steak, beef, 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 just beef, beef and cheese. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> As you chew into the into the taco, you can feel how they start to bind into each other and make just one piece. As you can see, it has a little bit of a char on it, a little bit of a crust, quite greasy and very flavorful. Pineapple, I like very much. I think it, it just yeah. gives a little hint of sweetness to the taco. Very good. I'm gonna try the pastor one. Pastor one next, but. Okay, I well, think Christian should try one of these first. Guys, as you know, um, Pastor and Tacos al Pastor are like a, a invention um, made here in Mexico but with a lot of um, Liban and Turkish influence. So I, I ordered this, this one, which is named Benitos. As you can see, we got this pita bread covering outside, ah, and then a flour and then we got a flour tortilla. There's two layers. Yeah, that's that's a, the definition of carb load. And beef. then we got beef and pastor with wow. the cover of cheese. Let me see that. Look at that, greasy, greasy, greasy. I'm not sure what kind of cheese it is. Is it like manchego? It, maybe it's the manchego, yeah. I think so. Mexican manchego. Mexican manchego. Yeah. And as you can see, the crust, just as Alonso explained, look at this baby. Oof. It's the combination. It's really awesome. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna use this one, which is called pico de gallo. Little bit of lime. I'm gonna try some red salsa. Also, double chili. Because we are starting our season two, so <laughs> a lot of chili for the Mexican guys today. The, in the griddle. Also. Salsa Maggi is a really uh, popular. Well, <laughs> popular welcome sauce in uh, Mexican gastronomy, yes, which is similar to soy sauce but with other spices. I'm gonna try this. Oh. You can feel the layers on your on your costa. And this little girl gives it gives a special girl. special saltiness and crunchiness in the in the in the meat. Alonso and Christian got beef and pastor. I've got cochinita pibil, which cochinita pibil is a stew from southern Mexico. Let me uh, take a look at it. Especially from Yucatan, right? Yucatan. It has uh, some herbs, some Mexican herbs also. It's called achote. Uh, they do this too with also orange and orange juice. And it's uh, it's pork and it's very slow cooked pork. In Yucatan uh, cuisine and with cochinita, it's very accustomed to have uh, chile habanero with with those dishes. So, which are I, very spicy. I, I think it's gonna be the most spicy of the three costras that we have tried. So we're gonna add the habanero and the also, also the cebolla morada, which is purple onion. <laughs> Horacio <laughs> mm. is a huge fan of, of cochinita. Good. Yeah. And as Christian said, actually my grandmother made some special cochinita and it was awesome. Actually when I saw the, the cochinita, look at the meat, I thought it was very dry. And I, I didn't think, but it's very juicy. And this one? is pastor meat. I think we've tried pastor on the channel mm, no, yeah. a couple of times. A couple least. of times, yeah. Um, Puebla. But I'm gonna remind you what it is. Um, this is pork marinated with spices and they usually put it on a, on a spit like a kebab, like a kebab spit, yeah? yeah. And they char it very, with very high heat. So I already put my green salsa, a little bit of um, a little bit of pineapple, a couple dashes of salt. Let's go. The onions were spicy. Look at that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at that. And I was taking a look at, at my tortilla. And it's perfectly browned and crispy on the outside. Wow. They get it up to its perfect point. <coughs> Very nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> very good. This is still very good, but I think the pastor is not as flavorful mm. as the other beef pista one I had, the mm. beef one. They both are very good. I like this place a lot. I think um, the only thing I don't like about this place is the, the price. Sometimes the costas can be quite, quite expensive, expensive yeah. for what they are. They're very good, but they are a little bit of the expensive side. This is not going to be that much, but for a taco here in Mexico, it's expensive. But even though... It's a big taco. Yeah, it's a big taco. It's a big taco, but yeah, I think I agree. But even though 4 out of 5, it's a good, it's a good grade mm -hmm. for this. Yeah, the only thing is the price, but... That has nothing to do with the flavor. The flavor is good. They have here a, another costra. It's a arrachera costra. Arrachera is a hanger steak, I think. Yeah, but marinated. And yeah, it has some some sauces and some stuff that that pulls up the pulls up the flavor. And uh, it's it's beef. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green sauce. Oof. The difference that beef, beef, you can cook it like 
just uh, in the griddle and the rachera it's, it's marinated with sauces and uh, it's a little bit more expensive you know yeah also it's, uh, it's more expensive meat. okay baby mm. nice wow this no, for now it's my favorite. It's a winner combination, no? It's super greasy. Can I try it? It's super greasy, you can feel... Once you bite and the meat's on your mouth, like the juice comes everywhere and it's full of flavor. It's mm. very good. Uh, I think this one is the best of the night for me. Okay. And if I had to grade them the cochinita also, I would give it maybe a 3.5 out of 5 or 4. Okay. But this one, a 4.5 out of 5. I already have a bite. In my disappointing, Chris. <laughs> disappointing as usual. I can't resist. This one is disappointed uh, but not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> disappointed but not surprised. <laughs> this one is the most classic costra on the place because it's the one with pastor and beef mixed together. As you can see, there's the beef just as Alonso has and pastor, but they are combined. And here in Mexico, we call it campechana. Uh, I think. When you mix sort of things, two sort, yeah, yeah, two, two different things here in Mexico, you can tell it's campechano, whatever you are. <laughs> yeah, so usually in garnacha tacos they do longaniza with suadero. With suadero. Here campechano is um, pastor, and pastor and beef and bistec. And beef. Yeah, and it's the, I, I think, uh, I believe it's the most popular on this on this place. I agree. And well, I'm gonna add some lime. Um, some lime. I'm gonna. Um, well, we haven't uh, used this one yet. This one it's onions, and there's there's a chili there which is called chile manzano, which is this beautiful uh, yellow chile. It's not that spicy. Uh, some people used to confuse them with habanero because the colors and all that. They are very similar. They are similar in color. In color, but in spiciness, I'm sure. Uh, uh, the chile manzano is really less um, uh, hotter than habanero so I'm gonna add some and maybe some green sauce the campechano with the salsas in every stack campechano <laughs> so let's go here we go mm. you can see these onions are raw so this gives a special texture to your costra, gives it a, a little bit more of crunchiness. Okay. Mm, it's not that spice, uh, spicy, sorry, <laughs> but um, it's really good. I think it's worth like a 4.5 out of 5. Wow, really? 4. Do you really like the pastor that much? No, it's not, it's not that good pastor, but it's... Uh, <laughs> Mm, it, it does the work, no? The, 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 veni one? the Benito is extremely greasy, super greasy. Um, but super it's flowery. Super flowery. Also. I think it's too much. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 Benito. Oh, wow. If you're hungry, uh, I, I think actually, it's... I have never seen in any other place that they put a pizza bread, then a flour tortilla. Yeah, those are a lot of carbs. I've seen the pizza bread before. Uh, Taco Arabe and yeah, stuff. But, uh, but pita and flour pita tortilla. And flour tortilla. Yeah. I think that's too much. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit expensive, but maybe if you're in the mood and you really like some costras, uh, a, tasteful, a tasteful dinner, you can come to this place. Yeah, exactly. And they have been very nice with us today. They let us very nice. Let us film. They actually the way. gave me a a gift costra in the grill <laughs> while I was making some grill. Let's see if it's really a gift. <laughs> Let's see. Let's hope. Let's but hope. They've, been, they've been really nice. Uh, thank yeah, you thank guys you. of Las Costras. The Campostras. Las, camp Las Campostras. So I'm gonna steal Chris's soda review section <laughs> for today because today we have my favorite drink in the world. Buen de Guayaba. Guayaba is a 
fruit native to Mexico and it is very citrusy and very acid and sweet. It ha there's, there's a picture here of uh, a guayaba. It has some seeds in it and it is very meaty. It's one of my favorite fruits. I don't know if you can see but it's kind of pink. And this brand Boing, they, they put a lot of pulp. You can feel little, very, very small bits and chunks of guayaba in your drink. And I like it a lot because I think it cleanses your palate after a good bite of a taco, a real good acidity. And the sweetness just wipes everything off. And you're left with a neutral taste ready for your next bite. We are also very proud of of Boeing brands because it's 100% Mexican and it's and it's had presence in the US and I think in Canada uh, and it's completely Mexican brand of juices and some beverage. Okay so we've just huh. finished eating at the Campostras as you can see they were greasy they were delicious and we had a great time. We're pretty good. I uh, give this place a 4 out of 5. Very good flavor. Price a little bit high. Good overall. But also people was really nice. The people were really nice. Yeah, the, really, really. Was making some mural at the griddle and they offered me a costra there and I and I had to ask like, is this mine? <laughs> and the, the waiter said like, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> costra gift. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe hit the little bell uh, thanks a lot to our, our patrons if there are still any left <laughs> they are here somewhere and um, and they also are in our heart in our uh, heart yeah always well thanks a lot guys and we'll see you in the next one Woohoo! I think we have mentioned it previously Alonso and I live together so I, I tell Alonso that he's the guapa man because he also he always had always has the guapa boy in, in I always buy at the apartment like four liters every time I buy groceries and they are ready to be drunk drink drink drunk yeah this is a funny this is a 